Hi, a lot of landlords want to know, or potential landlords, you know, should they rent a property furnished or unfurnished? So I'm going to go ahead and address that question here shortly. So let's go ahead and take a look. Hi, one of the questions that we get a lot of times from prospective landlords or even existing landlords is, what about running the property furnished? Now that's a great question and I think it really depends on what you're looking for and what your goals are. Uh, generally what we say is that renting it unfurnished, you're going to have a larger audience because a big part of making a property your home is bringing all of your things into it and making it feel like your place. Whereas if there's a bunch of furniture that's not yours, um, that can be difficult for everyone to kind of mesh with that style. Now, one of the benefits to that is if you're looking to rent it for a short period of time, uh, if you're looking to rent it for three months, six months, nine months, maybe even a year, most of the time though, the people that are looking for furnished apartments are only looking for shorter agreements. It's either there because they're looking for a furnished place because they're gonna be in the area for a short period of time. Uh, maybe they're looking to buy a house. Maybe they wanna just try out a neighborhood. Uh, maybe they had an insurance issue at their property or maybe their property got flooded and burnt down and they have to be in a new place for a period of time. And so if you're prepared to have a lot more turnover in your tenancies and you're interested in a shorter term tenancy, that can be really important. The other thing you want to keep in mind though is that even the most careful residents can have accidents and they can damage property of yours that is left there. So I wouldn't leave anything that's really important or sentimental to you. Um, obviously, you know, in many cases that's not going to happen, but you just want to be prepared for that. Also, you know, as a management company for us, we don't have any way to really inventory all of the personal property that's left. Now, maybe if it's furniture, that's a little bit easier, but if you're talking about, you know, forks and knives and plates and all that stuff, um, that's probably a little bit more geared for vacation rentals, maybe if you're doing something on Airbnb or something like that. Um, I hope this helps clarify a little bit of the questions about whether or not you should rent your property furnished or unfurnished. Our kind of default recommendation, because a lot of our clients are renting their properties for more than a year, is to say, no, don't leave it furnished. So I hope this was helpful. If you want to watch more videos with tips, go ahead and hit our subscribe button. Thanks for tuning in.